If you've invested a lot in your turntable, tone arm, and cartridge, you definitely want to make the most out of it. In these tutorials, I'm going to show you how to make your turntable sound awesome. Hi again, I'm Lauren from Analog Magic. Welcome to another episode of Analog Magic's instructional videos on turntable setup. Today we're going to talk about vibrations and resonances and how to measure them. Let's begin with vibrations. The turntable is a device which is very sensitive to vibrations. The cartridge is essentially a small device which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy as the stylus moves along the LP grooves. The only vibration you want to pick up are those that are recorded on the LP grooves. Any vibrations which are being picked up aside from the signals recorded in the LP grooves are just noises. Therefore, it is important to reduce vibrations to a minimal. Vibration comes in many forms. If someone happens to be walking around the room, then your cartridge may pick up the sound of foot stomping. And there are other vibrations generated by the motor, or friction on the turntable bearing, or sometimes even airborne vibrations from the sound of the speakers. There are many ways to measure vibrations, but one of the most effective ways to measure vibrations is to use the software's vibration measurement tool. This measurement function is similar to the VTA function, but is performed with a different set of test signals. The VTA test signals are optimized for determining the stylus raking angle, where the vibration test signals are designed to detect distortions at a frequency where rumblings and airborne vibrations tend to occur. Let's explain what this is. The vibration test track is recorded with two low frequency signals. Because there are no other sounds recorded on the LP except the two test signals, anything else being picked up are in fact noises. Any vibrations being picked up will also show as these unwanted signals. The software has a proprietary algorithm which will compute and express these noises as a percentage. Therefore, the smaller the number, the less vibration your turntable is experiencing. So, how do we make use of this tool? It's easy. You can even perform a test. Simply run the test and knock on the turntable plinth. You will see the vibrations being picked up on the screen. Say you want to make a change to your turntable, such as going from a rim drive to a belt drive, or you may be wondering how tight the spring should be on the suspension turntable. Now you can observe whether the change you made will produce a higher or lower amount of vibrations, or you can even compare the readings between two different turntables to see which is better isolated. The tool makes it easy to quantify vibrations in a meaningful way. Now let's talk about resonances. Every tone arm will interact with a cartridge and produce a resonant frequency. It is generally accepted that this frequency should be between 8 to 12 Hz. Anything outside of this range will degrade playback performance. The next question you may ask is, how do we measure this frequency? Well, our software will make this really easy. Simply play the test track and the resonant frequency will be displayed on the screen for you. If the frequency falls outside of the 8 to 12 Hz range, you may need to make a few changes. You can change the weight of the tone arm, you can try changing the torque on the various connecting screws, or you can change the tightness of the screw on the counterweight. The bottom line is our software will make it easy for you to determine resonant frequency. With this measuring tool, you no longer have to rely on theoretical formula or guesstimates. You'll be able to determine actual resonant frequency simply by looking at your computer screen. Once again, we thank you for watching our videos and we believe we've showed you the most accurate method of analog setup. So have a wonderful day and see you soon again.